somebody uh they knew they ex new nigga or some shit. So ask for like ask. What can I ask you? Ah. Oh. Did you think about me like every day, like when we when I haven't been around you? So pretty much since of up until like we seen each other for the first time or whatever. You were supposed to ask was the D better. You were supposed to ask was your D better than uh, Day Day D. I ain't gonna lie, she might have said Day Days because she went a little crazy for Day Day, but you still was supposed to ask. <laughs> hey, Day Day. Yeah. Let me talk my shit. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Uh. Yeah. I was fucking with this virgin ass bitch. Wait, let me talk my shit. Let me tell you about this bitch. See, what's up, y'all? It's your girl Niji, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. For more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. If y'all want to see more videos like this, put it down in the comment section below. And let's get to this video, man. So today, time flight. Got a lot of shit going on. They're doing mukbangs and uh pranks and shit listen i'm happy that you know what i'm saying they got back together well they back doing shit you know and uh sharing each other's love and stuff you know it's never too late it's never too late nothing but death can keep me from it you know what i'm saying but uh they back on you know i know i'm doing everything putting on my lotion just got out the shower I get out the shower and I sit my ass right down. All right, so we about to go ahead and react to their videos, all three of them actually. Uh, let's see which one we're gonna react to. Well, we're gonna react. From now on, for the rest of my life, I'm reacting to whatever the fuck I wanna react to, okay? That's just how this gonna go. Because you can't hold the, the, the crown of, you know, being able to make anything lit and not do it. That don't even make sense. <clears throat> I learned my lesson. So, let's get to it. Let's get it. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that for uh, copyright purposes. Right. I'm your girl, Ty. What's good? What's up? Hey, can I not just get a little love? <laughs> they need a new slogan, bro. It's time, it's over for the thoughts. It's over for the thoughts. It's that intro. Would it do a flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up. You got so happy. It is. Back at it. You know what I'm saying? Like I never left. You did that for a year. I tell you, you had to say it like that. I tell you, you're a regular one. Back again like I never left. <laughs> you definitely did. I mean. I wonder how they're going to get back together. I mean, they might as well. They both crazy as hell. Just had to come up with some sauce. You know, they didn't see me in a minute, so mm. we over here eating way stuff. You know? Did you know this is my first time fucking eating this? I ain't gonna lie, I think I'm gonna get wing stuff today and do a mukbang. Yeah, they got it in um, Atlanta. I know, but I tasted wing stock one time. Not them big ass drums. For one of my friends, I, I hate drums. Yeah. And it was this guy. Yeah. That was horrible. That's probably why. You ate it off your friend. Probably didn't have the right thing. Probably they had barbecue boneless wings. Mm -mm, mm -mm. The boneless wings and wings are nasty. Everybody will tell you that. You supposed to get the classic wings. Any any barbecue wing I feel like is disgusting. And this is not up for debate. Don't nobody want no nasty ass barbecue wings. If I'm going to do barbecue, I'm going to put barbecue on some barbecue. You get what I'm saying? But not my chicken. I ain't gonna lie, it depends on the sauce. <laughs> it depends on how good the sauce is. They do something to the bones or something. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go get some wings stuff today. Damn. Okay, we Flight we're just eating ranch. Okay, we're good, we're good. Mm -hmm. I told you, I got them spots. I'm like two or two. Huh. So cool. You Wingstop don't really count because it's like a everyday spot. Are you eating it? It means I it's, know, still, but it's, you, it's still food. But you can't consider this a five spot. You have to consider like that soul food spot. That's some low key. Like, you get what I'm saying? No. This is low key too. Everybody knows about Wingstop. 
you have to you have to take me somewhere in this like like your little secret spot. Hang on, take her to damn Frisco and let her try them cheesesteak egg rolls and see if she, if that don't change her mind. You understand? Best thing I ever had in my life. That not a lot of people know about. Fair. How when you was in Atlanta and I had introduced you to um Kale's Kitchen. Um, right. What else? It was some I more places. Been that Kale's spot by my mama house that they had them nachos. Mm-hmm. 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 Why do we stop? Why don't you got regular napkins? Why are y'all using paper towel? Like y'all budget that low. They might have ran out. That kind of pissed me off. I was gonna say the same thing. I also feel like, why the fuck do you got this ugly ass paper towel? Right. <laughs> Flight has the hugest mouth in the world, y'all. So. Okay, thank you. Get to talk about bank. something. You know we. That's how you call it. Mucka bank. Mucka bank. Let's try that. Mucka bank. I'm not judging. Just- I really don't know how to pronounce it. Because if you say mukbang, like them niggas be saying it, well, they saying mukbang. DDG say mukbang. Solomonati say mukbang. It's like MU is like mu. You know what I'm saying? And MOO is moo. You know what I'm saying? So, how is it pronounced for real? Where did it even come from? I don't. Somebody tell me. Weird. I never heard it like that. Everybody says mukbang, mukbang. Yeah. Mookbong. Right. Yeah. I hate the mookbong thing. Mm-hmm. I just say muck. This muckabank. <laughs> what? Yeah, this muckabank, we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to ask each other questions and we have to answer them. It's called. We're going to call it tell all. Well, get it's to it. how you do truth and dare, but this time it's only the truth. So you have to answer every question you can. Yeah. Sounds like it's going to be fun. You better not get too personal. I hate when people come with rules. When, when it's time to play a game or time to do some shit, let me play my game. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't be giving me no damn rules. Time to get a little laugh. First of all, what's wrong with the laugh? That's what I thought. <laughs> Their laugh turns anybody on. I'm getting too ahead of myself. Way too ahead of yourself. Yeah, way too hot. That's what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Ty really like that damn flight, bro. <laughs> she really, really, really like him. I just. I really, really didn't imagine her liking him like this. But she really, really loved it, boy. She really, really do. I, I just don't understand why she just won't, you know. Stay with her. Probably because flight crazy as hell. We all are. That Leo shit. Out of all of your exes, who has the best vagina? Ooh. She's <laughs> <laughs> so aggravating. <laughs> I mean, look at the way I acted towards you. That should give you a head. What? Okay, now nah, I'll just decide. Nigga, you tell nah, her she got the best pussy. Like you probably was up there. You probably number one because it must have been that good for me to give you a promise ring, right? I didn't know this girl a promise ring before, so I felt like. Nigga, he gave her a promise ring as soon as he got the cat. Like right after. Well, we don't nobody know how long they really been having sex, but um, <clears throat> like I. <sighs> I can't picture flight having sex. Ah, I can't. I can't. I really like flight though. Like niggas, are, like niggas be trying to come in the comments like, don't talk about flight like that. Shut up. We all troll flight and try flight troll everybody. Okay, that's that's what you do when you talk about flight. You troll. That's the whole point. But for real, I like flight. You know what I'm saying? And. Flight must be laying that wood. You know what I'm saying? He got to be laying that wood because he got her ass all kind of twisted. You know what I'm saying? And she's never talked bad about his sex. So I'm like, you know what? <laughs> you probably you probably did. Uh, just by the just by a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You get too ahead of yourself. You just got the lucky, you know, way. <laughs> I 
somebody just say you got some good pussy? I feel like every girl didn't want to know that. Really? Mm -hmm. I feel like he didn't give you a straight answer. Just like how some guys be want to know is their dick better than somebody else. Uh, they new they ex new nigga or some shit. So ask for like ask. Can I ask you? Ah. Oh. Did you think about me like every day, like when we when I haven't been around you? So pretty much since of, up until like we seen each other for the first time or whatever. You were supposed to ask was the D better. You were supposed to ask was your D better than uh, Day Day D. I ain't gonna lie, she might have said Day Days because she went a little crazy for Day Day, but you still was supposed to ask. <laughs> I did think about you here and there because I'm just a loving and caring person. I always care. I care about everybody that I love. So I did. No, that's real. Like, it didn't matter what we was going through. I still always genuinely fuck with you because I was in love with you. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like some, you know, we break up and just like fuck you, fuck everybody. Okay. Like, like you don't have nothing in that cup. But when you did start talking about me and talking about my family and doing a little stuff like that and have a little smart comments, I did start to resent you and didn't want to, like, I stopped caring about you. But I couldn't get off your mind, but that's the, you know, the key part. It got to be good. I, I just, I can't see it, you know. Let me know if y'all see it because I, 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 I mean, I don't need to see it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about me, you know, but... Do you wanna make sure the camera on? Live in LA for another year, mm -hmm. or somewhere else? Ooh, that's a hard question. Um, well, it's not really hard because it's funny that you said that. Cause I'm actually in the process. I'm like thinking about this decision every day because uh, I get out this place by December, end of December, January next year. So I got about like six, seven more months. Um, but I'm strongly leaning towards. Um, because I want to make this my last apartment, you know what I'm, who's on there? I want to make this my last apartment, and you know what I'm saying, like, I could easily stay here for three, four, or five more years if I really wanted to, but this being my eighth or ninth apartment I moved to, because I've been living in my own cell, I was like 19, like, I'm trying to put priorities and what makes sense, you know what I'm saying, and I'm trying to think ahead for the future, and I really want a house. And you guys already know how- Like, I don't even really want a house, but I do want my credit to get together, because, I'm over here buying all these computers because I can't just rent one. You know what I'm saying? Go fund me for neat. Neat computer shit. You know what I'm saying? Go fund me. How it is when it comes to LA, like the price of a house out here, you can get like a million, you can literally get a million dollar house out here in LA and it'll look like a rundown, beat down trap house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Any other state, like nope, no, nope, like I'm for real. And so like what I was strongly thinking of is Buying a, buying a house in a different state. I had like three states of mine. I had Arizona, I had um, Texas, or I had Atlanta as last. Uh, to buy a house. The reason why I didn't want it in my hometown, Florida, is because of the hurricanes. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want a hurricane. And Houston, you have a shit going on too, me. Yeah, they do. Girl, look, they're really not a hurricane state. Like, Florida's like a hurricane state. Like, every year. Well, Florida is a hurricane state, but Texas right behind that shit. Because for some reason, I think they under sea level. And I don't know how. But if y'all don't remember that um, that hurricane that they went through, the water came up to the to the highway signs. That's a lot of water. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way they ain't under sea level. Here, they're guaranteed to have at least one hurricane that caused a flood, a major power outage, or some damage in the house. That's just what it is with Florida. So I don't want to have like a house in Florida. So what I was going to do, out of those three states is uh choose a house and then have a small little apartment so i can be out here to work so basically have two places um so i just don't know what state i want to have the house in yet um still thinking about it i think you should get in in atlanta because 
Because it, it makes sense. Like no, it doesn't. Cost efficient wise, and nothing ever happens in them. You don't have storms. <laughs> you have snow, don't you? We barely, we barely get snow. It no, you just got everybody breaking in your car, though. Everybody breaking in your car, everybody breaking in your house. I love Atlanta, but I'm afraid to stay in Atlanta because of those reasons. I get it. Everybody else y'all know on YouTube stay in Atlanta. But they stay in like those high-rise apartments. And granted, he can stay in a high-rise apartment, but he talking about a house. It's totally different. Unless he out there um, where T.I. stay. Now that's different. You, you, you go up there with that bag, you can stay out, you know, in a good area and might not get robbed. And that's a mic. Anything ever happens, the only thing happens in Atlanta is it rain, it get cold, and it get hot. And it only does that around the, uh, you know, the seasons. Right. Don't do it, Flight. It's time to be cold, and be cold when it's time to be hot, it be hot. Don't do it. The rainy months, January, February, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's... Don't so shit happen to Charlotte. It's normal there. <laughs> shit. It's like the... Charlotte the barn. World and nothing, nothing ever happens to you. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. Well, I feel like just drunk nothing out of that cup and it looked like he had a whole lot of juice. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's oh, what I love like the down to. It's going to be a lot of baking and everything these coming months. I'm but doing a Wayne Stop mukbang today. Make that decision wisely. See where it goes from there. Okay. Wayne Stop right around the corner from my house. Was. If you can do it all over again. After we broke up, or after I left, I should say, would you really, if you could go back, have tried out to um, try try to go after new men, like try dating other men, or would you would have had to stay single and just stay to yourself after what ever had happened or whatever with all the other, you know, the dudes that you try to date? Um, no, because this situation made me who I am today. I don't, I feel like if you erase a person past, then who are they? Like, everything that people go through and stuff that they do in trials, tribulations, that make them who they are today. That's a part of me. So, if I was to erase you and anything else, then I would be down there. Mm -hmm. Be a different person. Yeah, I really would. I'd be a different person because I wouldn't have went through all of the things that I went through, so I wouldn't have turned out how I turned out. True. So she's saying she's stronger through the shit that he put her through. I guess so. I ran out of my dream. That is I hilarious. I ain't been kissing all the girls since then. Boy, shut the fuck up. He's gonna bring all her juice. You don't have to lie. Thank you, beautiful. That was good. That was good. Why to him, not me? No, I'm being truthful. Okay. Answer myself and kept it all in my pants since I left. I can't. That's a lot. <clears throat> um, how many girls have you been with after me? No, when you mean sexually? Boys, as of like dated or sexually? How many girls have you been with? I don't give a fuck if it was fucking, dating, whatever. Does someone you didn't calculate it? That wasn't funny. Oh, sorry. I didn't know you. Flight looked like he'll tell the truth too. If he he if he smashed seven girls, he'd be like, shit, I think eight. <laughs> Cause he can't remember if it was seven or eight. <clears throat> no, man, it's like three. You know what I'm saying? You got the lie. You can't. You can't just tell your ex you was smashing it all up in anything. You know, I'm not encouraging lying. I'm trolling. But I'm just saying. Don't it sound bad? If you've had sex with 10 girls and you tell her 10 girls. How would that make you feel? As a, as a woman. You know what I'm saying? You want to have sex with him or you are having sex with him again. How would that make you feel? <laughs> Some of them, most of them, mind y'all, wasn't even on camera. Not all of them I put girls on camera or whatever videos. Yeah, it's my fingers too if you need to. Ty, you about to do stand up next week or something? You tell me about. Okay. Uh huh? You about to, are you about to be a stand up comedian or something? Like, cause you're doing, you're on a roll right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was dead ass there. 
And down um, one. No, 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 I know, I know a, a pretty accurate number. More than 10, but less than 20. More than 10, but less than 20. You went all the way up to 20, but if you could have kept it at more than 10, but really, if you smashed 19 girls, you just told them more than 20. I mean, up to 20. But you've been in some cat like that? I couldn't do it, bro. See, this is why I couldn't be a girl messing with, with men because... I mean, hell, anybody, because y'all, these girls can have that body count, too. They can have that body count, too. But there's so many STDs out here, I just can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -mm. I'm, I would think 20 girls. Yeah, that shit would have had me throw the fuck up. Time. How many men have you been? No, no, no. I have a better question after after your reaction, whatever you would like to say. Ain't nothing to what? say. Go ahead. Since you want to do all that, what's your body count? What's my body count? Yeah, since you, since I left. Lot of time. That's no, that's cat. It's been a whole year. It ain't no just two. Ty, you're a beautiful woman. Like you don't, we don't got a lot. Like that don't mean she gotta be out here bending it over, busting it open for everybody. <laughs> you did not. It has really been two. <laughs> that's crazy. I, I was with Day Day, and I dated him for a really long time. I just stopped like we just split ways and then i was talking to another guy but uh, trade, trade my mom. i swear that's exactly what i you was about to say that trade and dating no that's not we're all human no you know they Why was fucking trade no yeah, trade isn't was. in that equation no. she well lied. i know he probably is so realistically is probably i know three. he's not how are you gonna add fucking body my body count that's crazy because you had I'm not you had a thing you said i need a calculator i need your fingers so but i told you it was two it was that day and it was another guy how do you have only two guys because i'm not i feel like sex and things like that is something that's special like you just don't do it with everybody and with me being a girl and a woman at the end of the day when i do decide to settle down and get married i don't want my pussy to be fucking stretched out and have no fucking walls I mean, okay <laughs> But not only that, she's a woman. Don't nobody want no loose ass booty? You know what I'm saying? Or some girl just... Nigga, Atlanta is over. Even Charlotte is too. I guess everybody is over like the count that it is supposed to be with STDs. But Atlanta full of them, bro. They full of them. If I was her, I wouldn't have been getting that cat out. Nina, you don't want nothing to bite that thing. Oh, I have to do that sometimes like you can fuck a lot and, and I don't go. want all of those souls on me like that that, you, that was my know. next thing see I didn't want to go there <laughs> but you got fight you got 20 different personalities and 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 <clears throat> this girl issues and, and and she she go to that church for praise that you know it can get deep but you got all that on your penis. That don't wash off. You know what I'm saying? That don't wash off. Mm-mm. We would never have sex again. You got again. sex with people. You get uh -huh. soul attachments to them. And you do. You know they aren't good people, but you still want to keep fucking with them because of this good sex or whatever. That's so, not true. I don't like that. That's why, like, you know, I always take my time. And I never find people, like, they always come to me. Like, it always... Come to me. Alright, big ball of time. Two is her body count. You hear that? It is. I believe her. If God was right here right now to strike me down right now, I swear to God, I've only had sex with two people after you. I swear to God. The only thing she lied about is the other one was Trey. <laughs> Girls in, are different than guys. Y'all can no, go and around. <laughs> no, you Girls just been out here smashing a whole bunch of nasty ass women. Y'all on the same level. But I believe, Ty. Mm -mm. The is, girls are just as horny as guys. Horny girls? But she don't have sex with the same meat. 
but we don't like to put ourselves out there like that. Like, we really don't. Conservative girls, we don't like to do that. Like, I know I'm loud, fun, energetic, wild, or whatever people look at me as, but I'm not no thought. Like, I'm not out here just busting my pussy open. Like, if I am, I'm doing it for the same person. Right. And I've always been like that. I believe. Like that. For me, I'm not explaining too far. Oh! Your turn. I think he turned off after them 20 girls. I don't think she want to have sex with him no more. She about to ask me. I don't know what I want to ask you. I have a lot, but my brain right now is like going like this. <laughs> <laughs> You're open. Um, You're all supposed to be open right now, so it's, I your, know. it's your opportunity. Hmm. If my dad was standing right here, what would you say to him? Oh, good question. Uh, I'll just be like, <laughs> I was just playing about, no, no. I would. No. <laughs> oh, <it's French> <laughs> I would like, in a respectful way, uh, you know, apologize face to face like I did on live when we was on live like months ago about that. Um, and I'll be like, can I have another chance with your daughter? Absolutely so, not. After you done like smashed that. 20 girls. Uh, uh -uh. Yeah, I Ty don't do it. How life's been. <laughs> One last question for that, me? Yeah. Um, Unless she already did it. Are we still going to have kids? Or do you still want to have my kid and make it more? Because kid and kids is two different things. I don't know how many you want it. But That's going to be one crazy ass baby. And they can play with me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She do not want to have your baby. I am going to wing stop. He is not playing with you. I'm waiting for the answer. Everybody's waiting. <laughs> Y'all don't need kids. No. So what's up? Nothing. You're not gonna come over here and try to put your little thought syndrome on me. Okay. I don't have no thought syndrome. You do have I've been, I've been syndrome. a really faithful, loyal person. I don't know how many people you have said this to. Yeah, only you. Learn. <sighs> You gotta figure your ex out, like you don't. Yeah, because you can't be having babies by anybody. You gotta. Sometimes people getting crazy baby daddies, and I'm not no baby mama wife, so I don't. My mom always told me, "Know your baby daddies." But in this case, it's baby mamas. I'm not having no kids without being married. <laughs> it doesn't work like that sometimes. Oh well, it's gonna work like that with me. I'm not being nobody's baby mama. I don't like that. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as the kids are eating good and you're living good, this is nothing. Okay. I'm someone's wife, not their baby mom. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, that concludes this month, bank. Like, no bank. comment, subscribe. Make sure you guys follow Fight's channel. <clears throat> Y'all already probably follow us. But, <laughs> 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 but you know what I'm saying? You know, we're gonna keep these videos coming. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, because I'm bored anyway. You two boring as fuck. Ain't nobody doing nothing but y'all. All right, y'all. Let me go ahead and get off this video. I got more videos of them to react to. I love y'all. See y'all later. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G, the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world and that's royalty apparel 
and you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo. I cut the logo. I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three. Pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time, you know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.